I always liked science fiction stories. Never dreamed I'd be living in one. The easiest way to get information which is secluded and censored into the mainstream of the public is to do it through fiction. The visitors are not our friends. They've come to rape our planet and kill us. They are not who they appear to be. This is not science fiction. You can get away with almost anything That's if you right. do it as fiction. And then only your target audience that has other clues that it's not fiction will get the message. A singular consciousness that spawned an entire race of machines. If you take the Matrix movies, you take away the poetic license, you take away all the violence, and you take the basic concept of people living in a reality thinking it's real when it isn't. Our prime reality has been hacked into, just like The Matrix. A lot of stuff comes out of Hollywood, which is actually telling you the truth. That was a movie. It was a fictional script. And science fiction. It was JFK. But the point is, what if someone took a real situation and put it into a fictional term so people could digest it more readily? From the species that brought you Talladega Nights. But what, humans? Who else is making movies? We are reptilians. Everybody here is reptilian in some fashion. What Edgar Rice Burroughs was writing back in 1912 was not fiction. This is the ancient pre-disaster Mars we have been trying to back-engineer from the NASA data for over 30 years. What do you think devil worshippers would do with a bunch of high technology? They'd try to exterminate the majority of the public, merge with machines to become gods. I created you, Jack. I am your god. We're living in a science fiction movie. Hey. Added to the blacklist. I never want to hear that music again. 